Good morning. Everybody have coffee? Everybody have enough coffee? I'm Evan DeLucia. I'm the director of the Institute for Sustainability, Energy, and Environment. And I want to welcome you to the first full day program of our annual Sustainability Congress. Uh, each year, the, the Congress is going to host a uh, major campus event, the Congress, to tackle uh, or, or at least to address a societal grand challenge. The idea here is to, um, is to inspire discussion and creative thinking about solutions by bringing the entire campus community together, students, faculty, staff, and members, members of the community. So uh, for those of you that weren't able to join us last night when we launched, we had a, a really fantastic uh, opening presentation by Andy Rifkin from the New York Times. Uh, he really set the stage for our first Congress. Um, so the, our, the, co the topic of this Congress that we're, we're launching with is uh, Feeding Nine Billion, A Path Towards Sustainable Agriculture. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Professor of Physics and Vice Chancellor Peter Schiffer, who will um, get us get us rolling today, Peter? All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I, I, Evan asked if you had enough coffee. I, I, the, the program today is going to be so exciting. You won't, you won't need much coffee. Uh, so it, it it it's my pleasure to welcome all of you to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. This is a very, very exciting event. It's an important conversation to be had, and, and we're very pleased and proud to be hosting the event. Uh, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign is a national and indeed an international leader in the science of sustainability. We have tremendous strengths in our faculty, staff, and students across pretty much every single academic college on this campus and the research institutes as well. Uh, this strength has been in existence for years, uh, but most recently, I'd say in the last couple of years, it's really come to a head with, uh, well, with Chancellor Phyllis Wise coming to campus three years ago, leading a strategic planning exercise for the campus. And out of that strategic planning exercise, there were topics that were chosen as being important for the campus to focus on. The issues around sustainability, energy, and environment were at the very top of those issues that the campus felt was important to address in a cohesive manner. And out of that discussion came the formation of this new institute, the Institute for Sustainability, Energy, and Environment. Uh, which Prof Professor DeLucia is the director of. Uh, we f know that we've been excellent in this area for many, many years across all aspects of the topics around sustainability, energy, and environment, but we didn't have one campus-wide voice speaking to bring all the people together into conversations to represent the full strength and breadth of what goes on on campus. And so we're extremely excited, as of about a year ago, to have this campus-wide enterprise brought in under a single institute and under a very, char a very charismatic and articulate director uh, in Professor DeLucia, who is not just a well-experienced administrator, but also a practitioner and scholar in the field. Now, I see the Institute for Sustainability, Energy, and Environment has a three-pronged mission. It's to foster actionable interdisciplinary research to address fundamental challenges in the fields. It's to provide national and international leadership in sustainability, energy, and the environment through both not just research, but also educational activities and outreach activities. And then, and perhaps most importantly, to develop and implement strategies for a sustainable environment. And on the international level and the national level, the formation of IC couldn't be more timely. We are facing tremendous threats globally in terms of how we can handle, we meaning the human population approaching 9 billion people, can handle living on a finite planet, feeding all the people, taking care of them, while fostering a globe in which our children and grandchildren and descendants 
going out in the future will be able to live and live productive, happy lives. And that is why we have IC. And this first Congress, I think, is an embodiment of the sorts of activities that they will be able to take on, convening the great experts from our campus, along with experts from around the world, in order to start thinking about the topics in a collective way across the campus and providing the world, really, with bigger and better solutions, ways forward. There's not going to be any one answer to the problem of a sustainable globe to feeding 9 billion people. We, we all know that's a complicated, messy issue. But discussions like this, bringing experts together from many, many different fields, is the way to go about it. And we'll find many different solutions and hopefully be able to implement all of them. So with that, let me just say thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for joining us for the conversation. Thanks to Evan, Jenny, the, the entire IC staff, Madhu, for pulling this together. Uh, this is uh, an exciting event. As Evan mentioned, it's the first of many. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day outside. So I, I, I apologize for, for bringing you in uh, inside for all of it. But, but I think the, the topics, the discussion, the conversation will be worth it. Uh, please enjoy the day and the day tomorrow. I hope you get as much out of it as possible. And I hope you, those of you who are visiting us from other places, I hope you'll come back and see us often as the Institute develops. Thanks very much. Thank you. Illinois.